found English in their mother tongue and now in the minority only lasting solution to this shocking problem is for our own people to start adding families, especially big families. Anyone who does not do this is part of our extinction simply putting it off and suggesting that some kind of civil war can put things straight is madness even after such a ridiculous war. But more of our finest girls who still would disappear without replacing our numbers we have each generation at the present rate aging population has considerable consequences for public services once your fertility rates drops below two, it is very, very hard to get it to go back up again. We now have 75 countries in the world where the fertility rate is below two, meaning the average woman is having fewer than two children. That is far below the rate of 2.2 due to 0.3. Consider not the look of all of the population steady factoring in the number of females who have no children or who don't live to reach childbearing age world population continues to rise with the third world. Despite the growing problems of starvation or AIDS, increases beyond their means we with the low birth rate concentrate our resources to help them to live, while our own die off they will replace us if they fill the vacuum in our lands and we need only look to the ghettos in the west to see how unlikely it is that this will result in a happy outcome for the world. The point is about recovery, and it is possible for the birth rate of an ethnicity to recover from such low fertility rates but that they will be a dispossessed minority with no land, state or power. It's probably too late to recover enough for any white nation to salvage this well enough to take any country back. The Titanic is sinking and it is the pieces of wreckage to hang on to that we must look for now. We are no longer the society we used to be thanks to a myriad of events, from loss of manufacturing who created reliance on the state, perversion of society, religion, education, dead money and materialism, a need for two parents to bring in a weight in order to keep a roof over their heads when it only used to require the male of the household to financially provide for a family unit before you know it, you are getting past it, pushing for the end no long term partner or children inside living and often working long careers, putting off child rearing until they start to panic at it. It's too late to drag the experience either we are the selfish victims of our own success or the state of life act been purposefully engineered to present a new generation of whites with a system that is not conducive to furthering their survival perhaps a bit of both. Only 1 in 10 births in the U.S. between 2000 and 2010 was white whites in America we have been outnumbered by 2050 by rising numbers of ethnic minorities, according to official figures Hispanic, black and Asian people accounted for 90% of all births in the U.S. between 2000 and 2010 in 40 years time they will comprise more than half the population due to their higher birth rates and immigration these higher birth rates are not that much higher than replacement levels but whites are just giving up on reproducing to the extent that all it takes is for immigrants to average the children to replace us what is wrong with white people why do they want to decree the future for the rest of humanity of all races that is full of terror I am sad that is the world where whites no longer keep an eye on things almost two thirds of parents who had one child say they are too poor to have a second almost a quarter of babies are born to immigrant mothers an official breakdown showed yesterday indigenous nations will become minorities in the west and will leave their countries and their state if they decide to cooperate with the foreigners and become civil nationalists these people will only be used to prop up a state that is killing them better to withdraw support and maintain ethnic identity and loyalty white newborn babies set to become a minority in the United States whites are on the verge of becoming a minority of newborn babies in the United States some people seem to have difficulty in understanding that if the births are majority non-white it will mean future generations of adults will also be non-white but the whole reason for this phenomenon is folks sticking their heads in the sand becoming non-white majority is nothing less than an act of deliberate genocide against the Caucasian race social engineers have in fact orchestrated the demise of white people and since many of these social engineers are actually white themselves, the shift represents a betrayal of their own people out of a sense of self-hatred of the year 2050. Non-whites in America will outnumber whites that simple demographic fact by 2050 and beyond. Non-whites will dominate, make the laws, abolish traditional white culture, take full possession of the American nation. Whites, as a major race, will become extinct. The white race covered more than 30% of the world's population when white men 
overall sexual liberation of the 1960s was reduced to 15% and the trendies, at both the Nordish and the Mediterranean locations we all shrink to 5% in the near future, the demographic winter of the people of my ethnic group is an issue censored in the media, which fears everything related to race the white race is now 18% world population by 2065 it will 